Okay, this is going to be a quick one. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to use an array to store your sprite objects. I'm going to show you how to store them in a list. If you could copy across all of the code we had from the sprite array activity into a new activity called sprite list activity 001.java, we'll add some modifications to it. Now, if we go into the code, have your activity underscore sprite list 001 underscore layout file. And if you scroll down, to where you previously uh, created an array. Replace that line with this line. This is how we're gonna create a list. So it's a list of sprite arrow objects named my sprite list, new array list. And adding to a list is done in the following way, this code here. And replacing elements in the list can be done by using this code here, quite similar to an array. Where we did fail last time was adding a new object because an array is limited. With a list, you can continue adding new objects. And when you get tired of an object, at one point you're going to want to remove an object, and you can do that by using this code. So, going through the objects in this list and activating their updates and draws is done the following way. So, here in the, the update method, we've got a new code for traversing a list, so you'll need to copy this across. And here you get the element, and then you call update onto the element, and you pass in delta t as did before. And when we're drawing, here's the for loop. Exactly the same, get the element, and we call the draw method with the canvas. And let's see it run. So here's our app. And if you look back on the code in the video, you will see that I've changed the size of one of the objects. But uh, this is uh, an activity running objects living in a list. Great, I've had to cover all this because I'm preparing you for our next set of tutorials, and that's a more detailed look at collision detection between objects. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>